What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Showdown Brave Rate card to review. It's a card that does look incredible. He's got 93 pace with 90 dribbling, 91 shooting, 84 passing with the 87 physicals as well. He's a 5 foot 10 player with medium medium work rates, 4 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. I was kind of hoping they gave this card high medium but hey, it is what it is. You can't ask for everything. They gave him really really nice stats now the chem style i've decided to go for is the hawk chem style i feel like it's between the hawk chem style and the engine chem style i feel like those two are the way to go i'm just gonna straight up believe that he's gonna feel good in game and go for the hawk chem style but trust me if he doesn't feel good in game you best believe i'm switching it over to the engine chem style but yeah the hawk the hawk chem style gives him stupid shooting stats while giving him a ridiculous amount of pace while giving him a ridiculous amount of strength and aggression as well the pace with the hawk chem style is 97 acceleration with 98 sprint speed which is amazing to have in in that striker position now the shooting stats 99 attacking positioning 98 finishing 99 shot power 97 long shots 90 volleys with a 92 penalties as well unfortunately he doesn't have any shooting traits but hey it is what it is i'm expecting that ball to fly into the back of the net now he's passing stats it looks pretty good. I must admit, for a striker, it looks pretty decent. He's got 88 short passing with 78 long passing and 86 vision as well. I see that 88 free kick accuracy. So if we do get a free kick today, you best believe we're going to give it a go. Now, he's dribbling stats. He's got 93 agility with 87 balance, 88 reactions, 92 ball control, 90 dribbling with the 87 composure as well. As I said, he is a 5 foot 10 player and he has got the average body type in game as well. The physicals, 99 jumping with 89 heading accuracy isn't too bad either so he's also going to give you a heading ability as well has he got the power header trait unfortunately he does not 90 stamina you know he's going to be lasting for the whole 90 minutes he's got 93 strength that's going to cause so so many issues let's say to so many defenders in this game and 93 strength is going to be interesting to see if he's going to be like bullying let's say players off the ball or is he going to be a player that's going to just be holding someone off for so so long he also has got 91 aggression which is going to be amazing in that striker position as well now the links Denmark not bad right you got some some decent players you got Ericsson foot fantasy which is nice you got uh I remember there's a I think it's La Liga no it's Syria it's a Syria winger I can't remember his name though he also comes from Denmark as well so yeah I guess the nationality isn't bad but it isn't outstanding either now the club he plays for Barcelona <laughs> do I really need to get into it Coutinho you got Dembele you got so many so many good players that you can link him up with when it comes down to the club now positions I am going to be playing Braithwaite in one position and one position only and it is going to be in, in that striker position in a 4-4-2 formation so let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is going to be go on Klaus use that pace now keep it going we'll roll that give it into Braithwaite he actually does come short there which is nice good skill move we'll roll just take it calm. He's not feeling bad on the ball. I can tell you that right now. Good turns. We're going to go for this. Just to see if it's going to go in. You never know, right? With his kind of shooting stats, anything could fly into the back of the net. And Donnarumma, he's out to play today. Can I give a pass into him there? I think I can. Go on, Braithwaite. Shot cancel that. Nice turn on that four-star weak foot. And it's going to go right into the corner. The keeper, yeah, he had no chance of saving that one. Let's see if we can score a header with him. We have to hit this directly towards the near post, pretty much. See if we can. Oh, my God. He went for a bicycle kick, and he didn't make the right contact with the ball. If that went in, though, oh, we'll roll that. Chip it over to Coutinho. Brave rate, you're going to make a run. The thing is, with his medium attacking work rate, I'm expecting him to do that over and over and over again. Him coming short, not really being that aggressive, not trying to make that run in behind. But I reckon if he sees like a gap wide open... He will 100% make that run. Yeah, you can see what he's doing. He's just like going around the edge of the box. He sees a space right there and he makes that run into it. That's what I expected from him. Give it over to Vinny. I see Awa making that run as well. I'm just going to ball roll this. Give it Vinny. Give it brave weight. Fake shot that. Good turn. Cancel that. Oh, that's beautiful. That needs to go in. It goes right into the corner. He's really giving no chance to the keeper. Is he going to quit? I think he might quit this time. Yeah, he is. We'll play Coutinho for giving me a passing option there. I'm just going to pass that all the way up to Braithwaite. 
La Coqueta, go for a finesse shot. I didn't want to time that one just to see how good of a shot it was going to be. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing, but it was still on target. It challenged the keeper. I see Vinny's wide open. That's such a good pass from Auer. Or I'll scoop it. He read it, but we're going to give it to Braithwaite. Just keep it calm. Nice. I tried. I don't. I tried to chip the keeper. I don't even know why I tried to chip the keeper there. I was so close to the keeper. There was no shot. I got that over Mendy. We have got a ball here, though. He fought us. Oh, yeah. Go on. Please. There you go. We, we eventually got it. <laughs> I'm just going to run through the space here. It's so open. Give it to the edge of the box now. Keep it calm. La Coqueta. That's really well played with the four-star weak foot. It's going to go... Near the keeper. I kind of, I really wanted that to go into the corner, man. With the finishing he has and on a four-star weak foot, I feel like that's a clear-cut opportunity and that needs to get placed more into the corner there. I'm just going to give it over to Coutinho or not. Give it to Braithwaite. Doesn't really matter. Oh my God, I wanted to try that. That's a good run though. I should have shot the other corner. What am I doing today? Can we please come out with a goal? I tried to shot cancel that twice and it didn't work. He made an incredible run. I'm really surprised he made that run. I didn't think he was going to see it like that quick. It just all came down to me shooting in the wrong corner though. Fake shot that. Accelerate. Keep it going. Keep it going. Well played. Looking at pace through the middle. I need a passing option. I see. Is that our? I think that is our. Yeah, it is. He gave me that passing option. He ran from that center mid position and it's just a guaranteed goal. And I'm going to give you that passing option. Brave rate on the edge of the box again. I'm telling you guys, he loves to be on the edge of the box. And look at... The left stick dribbling on this card. Keep in mind, I've got the Hawk Chemstall on him. I haven't even got the engine Chemstall. So with the engine Chemstall, he will even feel better. Early pass into the middle. Vinny, hold him off for a little bit. There you go. Allow Braithwaite to get in behind. Good dribbling. Really good dribbling. You're going to keep it calm and just switch it. He hasn't got that great of a long passing. So I wasn't really expecting it to work. I must admit, but it was a better pass than what I uh, expected. That's a good pass over to Braithwaite. You're going to accelerate. You see that instant acceleration he has? That's really nice to work with in that striker position. Because you know you can just do it at any time. And it's very unexpected towards your opponent. Good touch around the corner as well. Nice skill move. Ball roll that. Shot counter keeper. Look at the touches he's taking. I'm actually so impressed with his dribbling ability. I didn't think his dribbling was going to be that good. And how is that a goal kick? How is that not a corner? we got plenty of space to run into. I'm going to manual switch over to Braithwaite here. So I want to go for a long shot. Look at that strength coming into play. That's green. That's green. No, it wasn't even on target. The strength that I hold off that player though. That was nice. Hold Vieira off. Well played. Keep it going now. Use that pace. You know when he can hold off Vieira? Yeah, <laughs> you're definitely in trouble if you match up against this card. The fact that he just held Vieira off like it was nothing. Great dribbling as well. Once again, holding off the person there. Swear across. Gelson Martins. Few turns. Please. No, we didn't get a goal there. Let's go for a 1-2. See if I can just use his pace to get him behind. Keep it going. Ball roll scoop. Driven it straight into him. Beautiful touch. Chip. Oh my god. That is so unlucky. That is so, so unlucky. How does that not go in? I didn't time it. I just wanted to see if a normal chip, non-timed, would have gone in and it hits the post. Is he going to come towards me? I reckon he is. And we're just going to use his pace to get him behind. Look how easy that is. Green timed. Four-star weak foot, side netting. You see how easy it is with him just to use his pace to get in behind? It's crazy. Driven it through the middle there. Go for a one-two. This has to be a good pass. There you go. Perfect. He's not going to be able to catch up to him. Yeah, Mark, you know when Marquinhos is not catching up to him. <laughs> Certain defenders are going to have problems. Is he going to quit? He is going to quit. That was a perfect finish as well. Vinny's chinning on the edge and he's made a good run as well. We'll roll that. I need a sweat referee surely that's a penalty i was about to say he brought out a keeper perfectly it's just the keeper went into a terrible terrible animation brave weight where are you 92 penalties 99 shot power you guys already know we're gonna go into one corner and one corner only if i can aim it oh that's interesting we greened oh wow all right that went right into the corner even if he dived he had no chance for a second i thought i screwed it up so it is time to review and we ended up playing four games with Braithwaite. We scored seven goals in those four games and we also came out with a single assist as well. The first thing I want to talk about is the dribbling ability because that's the one thing that really, really did surprise me. At the start, I told you guys if I felt like he was a little bit stiff on the ball, 
I'm switching it to the engine chem style. There's no question about it. But as you guys clearly can see, the engine chem style is not applied on this car. The Hulk, the Hulk chem style is still there. I feel like the engine was not needed. He felt really, really nice on the ball, felt really smooth on the ball and felt very, very responsive on the ball as well. So yeah, the dribbling humidity, I don't feel like you need to touch it. I feel like it's more beneficial, let's say, if you go for the Hawk Cam style and boost the shooting stats as much as possible while also boosting up the physicals as much as possible as well. I feel like the Hawk Cam style is just perfect for this card. The shooting ability is the second thing I want to talk about. Insane. There definitely was uh, situations that I let him down. I feel like I could have done so much better today with the shooting. There was so many occasions where my opponent was moving the keeper towards the near post and then I decide, let me shoot towards the near post rather than shooting across goal. He could have walked away with double digit goals easily if I was just shooting into the other corner. But still, we'll take seven goals in only four games played. Shooting though, just in general, amazing. Even on that four-star weak foot, it was getting played right into the corner. The pace. You guys saw Marquinhos not catching up to this guy. Now, I think that says it all, right? That needs to, say, that needs to just say it all because his pace was just straight up insane. He, the way he can get in behind is amazing and there's not, not going to be many defenders that's going to be able to catch up to him. The passing ability, I didn't really try to keep it as simple as possible, let's say. I did try to go for a few overtop through balls and it wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing. You can't act like this guy's a team of the year KDB or winter wildcard Modric, Modric, let's say, when, uh, when it comes down to the passing ability. But the passing just in general is very nice. If the person's wide open, yeah, pass the ball. Most likely it will work. And the physicals is the last thing to talk about. And I really, really did enjoy his physicals. The, having that strength and having that aggression in the striker position is always going to be nice because he's a player that's always fighting for the ball and he's a player that does get a lot of rebounds. Now, the price, 220,000 coins for this card. Do I believe it's worth it? 100% I do. The fact that this is a showdown card and it can get upgraded, oh, I cannot imagine this card getting upgraded. I'll be honest to you guys, him getting upgraded would be absolutely insane. He's so good. So, so good. The only thing I will say about this card, though, that I definitely didn't like, and it's the main reason he isn't going to go into the S tier, is because of that movement in that striker position. The medium, medium work rates definitely was a little bit disappointing. He was a player that only made a run in behind if the gap was wide open. Other than that, he always, always wanted to come short. He always wanted that ball to his feet, and that's something that I don't really like too much in that striker position they can come feet time to time but i want them to make those runs in behind so i can go for that o top through ball and so he can get in behind easily and he can score a goal and that's what brave rate wasn't really doing today and it was a little bit annoying so yeah where would he go on the attackers tier list he goes into the a plus because of that movement in that striker position i well, hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace